I picked him back with mine, cause I'm the morning light. Cause I ain't got him figured that by tonight. Well, we'll see you at the test, as far as we can try to have the This guy says no one can tell us that before we can tell us. Detroit. Which Nathan Detroit is that? I mean the Nathan Detroit has been running a floating crap game around here and getting away with it by moving it to a different spot every night. Why are you telling us this, Your Honor? I am telling you this because I know you two bums work for Detroit, rustling up customers for his crap game. We do? Yeah. 
Oh. Well, you can tell him this. I know right now he's running around trying to find a spot. Well, nobody's going to give him a spot because they all know Brannigan's breathing down their neck. Fellas, fellas. Hi, me, baby. Fellas, I am having terrible trouble. Everybody is scared on account of that lousy Brannigan, and I can't find a nice thing to matter, Mr. Detroit. Oh, hello, Lieutenant. I hope you did not think I was talking about you. After all, there are other lousy Brannigans. <laughs> That's right. I was just talking to your colleagues about your crap game. I imagine you're having a little trouble finding a place. Well, the heat is on, as you must know, by the fact that you now have to live on your salary. <laughs> did you find a place? What does that cop want from me? What am I, a sex maniac? I only run a crap game for the convenience of those who want a little action in return for which I take a small cut. Is that a crime? Yeah. I mean, did you find a place? Did you find a place for the game? Did I find a place? Did I? Yes, I found a place. We are now holding the game tomorrow night in the Radio City Music Hall. How are you going to fix the ushers? <laughs> I tried all the regular places, the back of the cigar store, the funeral parlor. Nathan, you once said there was a chance of the Biltmore Garage. I've been over the Biltmore Garage, spoke to Joey Biltmore himself. Says he might take a chance and let me use his place. I give him a thousand bucks. A thousand bucks? In cash. He won't take my marker. Your marker's no good. What do you mean? <laughs> the marker is just a, a piece of paper that says, I owe you one thousand dollars, signed Nathan Detroit. Now, a marker is like a pledge, which a guy cannot welch on it. It is like not saluting the flag. My marker is as good as cash. Only Joey Biltmore wants cash. It just don't seem possible. Me without a livelihood. Why, I have been running the crap game ever since I was a juvenile delinquent. Nathan, can't you do something? What could I do? I'm broke. I didn't even have enough money to buy Adelaide a present today. And do you know what day today is? It is mine and Adelaide's 14th anniversary. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. We've been engaged 14 years. <laughs> Nathan, concentrate on the game. The town is up to here with high players. The Greeks in town. Brandy bottle bait. Scranton Slim! I know, I know, I can make a fortune, but where could I have the game? South Biltmore Garage wants a green, but we ain't got a grand on hand. And they now have a lock on the door of the gym at public school 84. There's this stock room behind McCluskey's door, but Mrs. McCluskey ain't a good scout. And things been how they are. The back of the police station is out. <laughs> so the Biltmore garage is the spot. But the 1,000 bucks we ain't got. Why is good old reliable name? Name to take to take to Detroit. If you're looking for action, he'll furnish the spot. Even when the heat is on, it's never too hot. Not for good old Did it. 
He's so lucky it went to 106. <laughs> Good old Sky. Nathan, maybe you could borrow the thousand from Sky. No, no, not Sky. With him, that kind of money ain't lending money. It's betting money. So why don't I bet it? Why don't I bet a thousand bucks with Sky on something? You would bet with Sky, Masterson? Hey, I ain't scared. I am perfectly willing to take the risk. Providing I can figure out a better, which there's no chance of my losing. He likes crazy bets, like uh, which lump of sugar is a fly gonna land on, or uh, how far could you kick a piece of cheesecake? <laughs> cheesecake? Cheesecake, that's it! Okay, look, get over to Minnie's restaurant and find out uh, how many pieces of cheesecake he sold yesterday and how many pieces of strudel. How much cheesecake, how much strudel? What do you want to know for? Just find out. Hey, now beat it, beat it. Here comes Natalie. She hears I've done the game, she will never set foot on me again. Natalie, pigeon! Oh, you're still rehearsing, huh? Yeah, that slave driver Charlie, he's been working us all day. Finally, I said, look, Charlie, I'm starving. I gotta get out of here and get something to eat. And he said, you don't want to eat, you just want to meet that cheap bum Nathan Detroit. And what did you say to him? Oh, well, I told him, I said, I'll meet whoever I want. <laughs> oh, well, now don't upset yourself. How's your cold? Much better, thank you. Nathan, happy anniversary! A present for me? Oh, I hope you like it. Oh. <laughs> a belt. Yeah, a belt. read the card. Oh, the card. Sugar is sweet, and so is jelly, so put this belt around your belly. <laughs> <laughs> That's sweet. Yeah. Oh, gee, Adelaide, look, about your present, I was going to get you this diamond wristwatch with a gold band and two rubies on the side. Oh, David, you should have. It's okay, I didn't. Uh, Adelaide, I'm sorry. That's all right, Nathan. I kind of like it when you forget to give me a present. Makes me feel like we are married. Uh, don't you worry, baby. Someday I will be in the money and you will have more mink than uh, mink. Pardon, Nathan. I can do without anything just so long as you don't start running the crap game again. The crap game? What an absurd thought. Yes. Twelve hundred pieces of cheesecake, fifteen hundred strudel. Huh? Oh. Yesterday, Mindy sold twelve hundred pieces of cheesecake and fifteen hundred strudel. More strudel than cheesecake? That's great! That's my bet! Nathan, what is this about? No, oh, nothing, honey. Hey! Any news yet? No, 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 not yet, Harry. I'll let you know. Okay, Detroit. Nathan, what does he want? Uh, his wife's having a baby. Well, why is he asking you? He's nervous. It's his first wife. Uh, look, <laughs> Adelaide, uh, I'm expecting a fella, and I know you're hungry, so, uh... Are you trying to get rid of me? Oh, no, no, I just don't want your sandwich to get soggy. So, fellas, why don't you take Adelaide over to the drugstore? After all, you've got a cold, and it's all the way across the street, and there are so many open manholes. Oh, Nathan, you're just the sweetest person in the whole world! <laughs> Hey, Masterson! Hey, glad to see you, Sky. Nathan, you old promoter, you. How are you? You look great. Feel great. Two wonderful weeks out west in Nevada. Great place. Beautiful scenery, healthful climate, and I beat it for 50 G's in blackjack. 50 G's? You, uh, gonna be in town long? No, flying to Havana tomorrow. Havana? Yeah, there's a lot of action down there. Hey, you wanna come with me? Uh, no, no, I got a lot to do. Uh, meantime, how about you and me go over to Mindy's for a piece of cheesecake? You know, they sell a lot of cheesecake. Uh, no, thanks. Tell me, how's that thing? Nah, she's fine. Still dancing at the hot box. I suppose one of these days she'll be getting married. Yeah, well, we all gotta go sometime. Uh, Nathan, we can fight it. Guys like us, Nathan, have gotta remember that as pleasant as a doll's company may be, She'll always take second place to aces back to back. Yeah, yeah, sure. So tell me now, you hungry yet? Because I was thinking, you know, maybe we could go to Mindy's, have a little cheesecake, maybe some strudel. Uh, no, thanks. I think I'll take a look at the late results. Yeah, but you will admit that Mindy does have the greatest cheesecake in the country. Yes, I'm quite partial to Mindy's cheesecake. Oh, hey, who ain't, huh? Uh, but then there are those that do prefer Mindy's strudel. Offhand, which would you say he sells more of? Uh, the never, cheesecake or the strudel? Never give it much thought, but if everybody's like I am, I'd say he sells more cheesecake. For how much? Huh? Uh, for how much? Nathan, I never knew you to be a betting man. You always take your percentage off the top. Oh, well, I figure for old time's sake, I would let you in on a little action. So, I will bet you, say, a thousand bucks that yesterday Mindy sold more strudel than cheesecake. Nathan, let me tell you a little story. Oh, boy. 
When I was a young man about to enter into the world, my father says to me a very valuable thing. He says to me like this, he says, son, one of these days in your travels, a man is going to come up to you and show you a brand new deck of cards on which the seal has not yet been broken. And this man is going to offer to bet you that he can make the jack of spades jump out of the deck and squirt cider in your ear. But son, do not bet this man, for as sure as you're standing there, you'll wind up with an ear full of cider. Now, Nate, I did not claim you've been clocking Mindy's cheesecake. Oh, well, now, Sky, sure. However, if you're looking for some action, I'll bet you the same thousand that you do not know the color of the necktie you have on. <laughs> well? No bet. Duh, polka dots, what a crummy color. <laughs> Nathan, we do got oh, to me. Oh, hiya, Sky. Hey, fellas, how you doing? Not bad. Well, nicely, nicely. Nathan, we took Adelaide to the drugstore and she said to tell you to be sure to pick her up after the show at the hot box and don't be late. Yes, dear. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, dear. Nathan, that sounds like husband talk if I've ever heard it. And Adelaide, you got the type of doll that's most difficult to unload. I do not wish to unload Adelaide. I love her. And besides, a guy without a doll? Well, if a guy did not have a doll, who would he have to holler at him? I'm not putting the rap on dolls. I'm just saying that they're nice to have around and they're easy to find. Not dolls like Adelaide. Nathan, figuring weight for age, all dolls are the same. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, then how come you ain't got one? How come you're going to Havana tomorrow alone? I like to travel light, but if I'd like to take a doll to Havana, there's a large assortment available. Not real high-class dolls. Any doll. You name it. <laughs> Any doll and I name them? Would you be willing to bet on that? Would you bet that thousand bucks that if I name the doll, you will take her to Havana tomorrow? You gotta bet. I name her. Her? Sight. We do, Sarah. How do you do? Uh, my name is Abernathy. Arvind Abernathy. Sky Masters. What's wrong? What is the trouble? My heart is heavy with sin. Oh, you poor man. I've wasted my life on evil betting and gambling, but I've suddenly realized the terrible things that betting can lead to. Uh, Agatha. Uh, Paul, please. Uh, didn't I see you a little while ago on Broadway? Uh, possibly. I've been wandering around trying to get up the courage to come in here. And you're willing to give up gambling? Well, gladly. I never would have become, become a gambler at all had I not fallen in with evil companions who kept offering me sucker bets. <laughs> here, young man. Here you are. Oh, thank you. There you are. It makes me feel better just to talk to you people. Well, you just go right on talking to Sister Sarah and you'll be all right. I'm glad you found us. Bible says, seek and you shall find. Oh, very good. Oh, I wish we could reach more sinners like you. We're out every day trying. Uh, perhaps you should try the night time. Uh, how's that? Well, you see, as a former sinner, I happen to know the best time to find sinners between midnight and dawn. Yeah. You see, during the day, the sinners are in bed resting from their sinning the night before. <laughs> Has to be fresh for more sinning later on. <laughs> perhaps you should try an all-night session against the devil. A very good suggestion indeed. Well, thank you, Brother Masterson. You're welcome. Coffee is so good, I can't understand why it isn't a sin. <sighs> Fine, old gentleman. I suppose he sort of looks after you. We look after each other. Of course. I guess if one of you goes someplace, the other one comes along? Yes, of course. Of course. Um, here are two of our pamphlets that I would like you to read. They will give you a good deal of comfort. Thank you. And we're holding a midnight prayer meeting on Thursday, which I'm sure you will wish to attend. I'm sure. Uh, Miss Sarah, I hope you don't think I'm getting out of line. I think it's wonderful that a pretty doll, a, a nice lady like yourself, would sacrifice herself for others. I mean, staying here in this place, 
Don't you go anywhere else? Don't you travel or anything? I would like to go to Africa. That's a little far, but there are some other places just a couple of hours from New York by plane. Have you ever been on a plane? No. Oh, the view from 3,000 feet is absolutely um, incredible. Here is another pamphlet that I would like you to read. I'll need a lot of personal protection. My heart is as black as two feet down a wolf skull. I'll be speaking at a Thursday prayer meeting. I was thinking more in terms of private consultation. Perhaps you could have dinner with me or something? I think not, Mr. Madison. I'm sorry, I was just blossoming under the warmth of your kindness. <laughs> but that's wrong. What's wrong? That's not Proverbs, it's Isaiah. <coughs> it's Proverbs. I'm sorry, no peace under the wicked. Isaiah, chapter 57, verse 21. Besides, in my profession, the strangest information frequently comes in hand. I once won 10 G's on a parlay, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Tell me, Mr. Madison, why are you here? I told you, I'm a sinner. You're lying. Well, lying is sin. <laughs> Look, I'm a big sinner. If you get me, you take the five and the ball. You need sinners, don't you? We're managing. Let's be honest, this mission is laying an egg. Why don't you let me help you out? I bet I can fill this place with sinners. I don't bet. All right, I'll make your proposition. What is this big meeting of yours? Thursday night? I guarantee to have ten sinners in here, and I guarantee that they'll sit still and listen to you. What's my end of the bargain? Have dinner with me. Why do you want to have dinner with me? I'm hungry. Here. What's this? Sky Masterson's market for ten sinners. If you don't think it's any good, ask anybody in town. I owe you ten sinners. I'll pick you up at noon tomorrow for dinner. At noon? Yeah, it'll take us a little while to get there. To get where? To my favorite restaurant. Where is that? El Cafe Cabana in Havana. El Cafe Cabana Havana? Where did you want to eat? Howard Johnson's? <laughs> Havana? Why not? The plane gets us there and back in five hours and the food is great. I now realize, Mr. Gambler, that when you were describing the blackness of your heart, you didn't do yourself justice. And I realize, Sister Sarah, that no matter how beautiful a sergeant is, she's still a sergeant. Please go away. Why don't you change your pitch, Sarge? Come to the mission, one and all, except guys. I hate guys. I don't hate anybody. Except me. Well, I'm relieved to know that it's just me personally and not all guys in general. It's nice to know that somewhere in this world there's a guy the sergeant would go for. I wonder what he'll be like. He will not be a gambler. I'm not interested in what he will not be. I'm interested in what he will be. Well, don't worry. I'll know. For I've imagined every bit of him, from his strong moral fiber, to the wisdom in his head, to the home, the aroma of his voice. You have wished yourself a Scarsdale Galahad, the breakfast eating Brooks Brothers time. Yes, and I shall meet him when the time is right. You got the guy all figured out, though. I have. Right down to what he smokes, all figured out. All figured out.
talking about love. You can't dope it like that. Who are you picking, a guy or a horse? I wouldn't expect a gambler to understand. Would you like to know how a gambler feels about the big heartthrob? No. Well, I'll tell you. Mine will come as a surprise to me. Mine I'll leave to chance and chemistry. Chemistry? Yeah, chemistry. Suddenly I'll know when my love comes along. I'll know then and there. I'll know at the sight of her face. How I care, how I care, how I care. And I'll stop, and I'll stare. And I'll know, long before we can speak, I'll know in my heart, I'll know. And I won't ever ask, am I right? Am I wise? Am I smart? But I'll stop and I'll stare at that face in the throng. Yes, I'll know when my love comes along. When my I bet you should not take a dollar out of that. 
Why couldn't he? Because she ain't the kind of fellow that goes to the bad. Well, where does she go? She don't go no place. That's why I know I'm gonna win. Don't be so sure. That ain't a horse, it's a dog. But Joey... Nathan, there will be no crap game here tomorrow unless I get my dough in advance. Joey, you know me a long time. But that's why I want it in advance. All right. <laughs> I can't talk anymore. I gotta meet Adelaide over in the hot box. Just uh, one more thing, Joey. Can I at least tell the guys it's gonna be at your place? Not till I get the dough. All right, you'll get it. Goodbye. Goodbye. I hope you get stabbed by a Studebaker. You too. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Nathan, Scotty was next 
week I'll be getting a raise, and I thought that with what I'll be making, maybe we could um, finally get married. <clears throat> oh, yeah, well, sure we will, sooner or later. I know, Nathan, but let's do it. I'm beginning to worry about my mother. Your mother? What about your mother? Well, Nathan, this is something that I never told you before, but my mother, back in Rhode Island, she thinks that we are already married. Why would she think a thing like that? Well, I couldn't be engaged for 14 years, could I? I mean, people don't do that in Rhode Island. They all get married. Then why is it such a small state? <laughs> uh, anyway, I told her we was married. You did, huh? Then after about two years? What after about two years? We had a baby. You told your mother we had a baby? I had to, Nathan. She wouldn't have understood if we had it. And what type of baby was it? Oh, it was a boy. I named him after you, Nathan. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> and just where is little Nathan Jr. supposed to be now? Oh, he's in boarding school. I wrote Mama he won the football game last Saturday. Oh, that's great. I wish I had a bet on it. <laughs> uh, Nathan? That's not all, Nathan. Oh, no, don't tell me he has a baby sister. I had to. Mother believes in big family. Just, just, just give me the grand total. Fine. <laughs> Your mother must be a glutton for punishment. Anyway, Nathan, now we'll finally get married. It won't be a lie anymore. Adelaide, how could you do such a thing to such a nice old broad like your mother? You don't even know my mother. Well, no, no, but I'll be meeting her soon. And then what do I tell her? What do I tell her I did with five kids? Trade her into the Phillies or something? What are we going to do? We could get married. Adelaide, marriage ain't something you just jump into like it was a kettle of fish. We ain't ready. I what do you think I got here in this box, huh? What do you think I got in this box? Sally's wedding shop. I can't guess. It is a wedding veil. I've had it for three years. I'm not going to show it to you because it's bad luck. You want to see it? <laughs> it's bad luck. Anyway, we got the wedding veil. All we need now is the license and a blood test. The what? The blood test is the law. What a city. First they close my game, then they open up my veins. <laughs> Nathan? You're not going to run the craft game again, are you? No, 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 Adelaide. How could you think such a thing? Why do you think I give up the game? It is because I love you and I want us to be the happiest married couple in the world. Good. Has anyone seen an earring out here? I don't think so. You! I am all dated up tomorrow with Society Man and we break it on account of your dopey craft game. Oh, honestly, Adelaide, I pity you. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Adelaide, look at me. I am down on my knees. Oh, get up. It reminds me of your stupid crap game. Achoo. Achoo. Well, look, now you're getting yourself all upset. Adelaide, you and I, we are going to be all right. After all, we love each other and we are going to be married. I don't believe you anymore. No, but it's true. You will feel all better tomorrow. Now, come on now, cheer up. Let's see that old smile. <laughs> That's my girl. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. 
some, or pay some attention to him at least. Yes, he attended every street meeting we had this morning. He must be interested in our work. Very. By the way, Sarah, you spoke beautifully this morning. No, I can't reach these people. I should never have volunteered for this post. And I was going to convert Broadway all by myself. I was going to take these gamblers and have them just begging to come to the mission. General Cartwright! Good morning, Sarah. Arbide? Uh, good morning, Jeff. We didn't know that you were coming to town, General. I got in early this morning. Spent the past hour trying to find you. Oh, I'm sorry. We've been holding some extra street meetings trying to stimulate more interest. Sarah, there's something I want to talk to you about. And won't you come have lunch with us? No, I don't have time, dear. I have several other calls to make. Sarah, we at headquarters have come to a definite conclusion. We've decided to close this branch of the mission. Oh, no! Close the mission? General, please. <laughs> Nobody can do good here, even if I can't. Sarah, we have so many calls on us, so many other places where our work is really needed. But we're doing much better now. We've announced a big meeting for tomorrow night. You've announced a meeting. But will anyone be here? Will anybody come? Uh, pardon me, General. I couldn't help but over here. My name is Sky Masterson. Former sinner. How do you do? <laughs> I'd like to protest the closing of this mission. I think that Miss Sarah could be a big success here. I'm glad to hear you say that. But I'm not so certain. A dollar will get you ten. What? General, might I make a suggestion? Yes. Why don't you attend the meeting tomorrow night and see for yourself? Don't you think that would be a good idea? Well, I think the mission has a chance. General, I personally guarantee you ten genuine sinners. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! <laughs> into the game without they got red carnations. It's like a password. Okay, but where's the game? I'll tell you in a minute. I think, is it all set? Can I tell the guy who said to build more garage? No, no, not yet. I gotta stall him for a while. Joey wants his dough first. But it's 11 o'clock. They ain't gonna stick around much longer. So sue me. I left nicely over at my hotel to wait for the dough from Sky. It'll be there. Hey, hey, where's the dough? It ain't coming I told you to wait for it. I had to get some groceries. I felt a little faint. Nicely. Get back to the hotel and wait for the dough from Sky, and don't come back here without it even if you starved to death. Or from Where's the game, Detroit? Hey, hey, Harry the Horse, how are you? How's everything in Brooklyn? Detroit, if there is no place for your game, tell us, and we shall seek elsewhere for any yeah. danger. All right, take it easy, Harry. I hope, Detroit, you will not spoil our evening. Inasmuch as I happen to be entertaining our very prominent guests here tonight, I think you might have heard of them. I'd like you to meet Big Julie from Chicago. <laughs> How do you do, Big Julie? Uh, welcome to our fair city in which, as you know, the heat is on. Uh, but if you'll just be patient, you will get some action. What do you say, Big Julie? Shall we stick around or shall we blow? I came here to shoot crap. Let's shoot crap. Sure, sure. Nathan. Nathan, if there is no plans for your crack game tonight, Big Julie will be considerably displeased. And Big Julie does not like to be displeased. As you can tell by those citizens who at one time or another displeased him. Although I will admit it's very difficult to find such citizens in view of the fact that they are no longer around and about. Well, no, Harry, now, surely you don't think that I would be so rude as to displease such a gentleman as Big Julie here. And now, Big Julie, believe me when I tell you that when Nathan Detroit, when Nathan De Detroit, uh, when Nathan Detroit arranges well, something, well, 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 an interesting gathering indeed. The cream of society. Angie the Ox, Society Mix, Rusty Charlie, Liver Lips Louie, and hey, Harry the Horse, all the way from Brooklyn. And, uh, pardon me, I'm very bad with things. But your face looks familiar. You mind telling me where you're from? East Cicero, Illinois. Oh, and what do you do there? I'm a scoutmaster. <laughs> well, don't ever help my mother across the street. Uh, lovely. Looks like the male chorus from Blossom Time. 
What's the occasion? Uh, well, we're uh, it's a party. party. Indeed. What kind of party? Oh, uh, it's a bachelor dinner. Nathan's getting married. Yeah. That's what I was telling you. It's a bachelor dinner. Nathan's getting married. Yes, sir, boy. Uh, he's a It's a bachelor dinner. Yes, sir, a bachelor dinner. Oh, just think. After 14 years, I'm finally going to become Mrs. Nathan Detroit. Oh, time certainly does fly. <laughs> Tell me, Nathan, when is the happy day? Oh, yes, Nathan, when will it be? Yeah, well, it's, um... Nathan, these good fellows are nice enough to give you a bachelor dinner. You should at least tell them when the wedding day is. Uh, uh, well, we need time for our marriage license and our blood test. Oh, wouldn't it be wonderful if we could get married tomorrow? Allie, we need time for our marriage license and our blood test. You cut a low! What? Yeah, you've been dragged down to Maryland. What's the name of that town? Pimlico! Pimlico! Not Pimlico! No! Wait, Elton! They'll marry you right away. They don't even ask for a blood test. No, oh, but ain't that unhealthy? Nathan, that's a great idea! Hey, Lo, I'll lend you my getaway car! Ah, my beauty! Well, Nathan, let's do it! Oh, what the hell? <laughs> All right, Nathan. <laughs> My congratulations to Nathan. I only hope there's nothing in heredity. Oh, I got so much to do before tomorrow night. You'll be at the hot box. Yeah, yeah, I'll have a table reserved and I'll be all dressed up in whatever you have open. Oh, I'm so excited. I ought to wire my mother. Only what will I wire her? <laughs> you can send a telegram and take it back. Maybe I should wait until we have five children. That won't take us long. Here comes the bride! Oh, yes, the bride! <laughs> Nick, you and Theodore are a lucky fellow. A most beautiful doll indeed. Don't you agree, Big Julie? Tell me, how long you know the doll? Fourteen years. Let's shoot crap! Nathan, you better find a place for the game. What can I do? The dough ain't come from Sky yet. Maybe it will come. Maybe he took the doll to the <laughs> He couldn't have. She couldn't have gone. How could she? Oh, just a little 
sugar and some native flavoring. What's the name of the flavoring? Bacardi. <laughs>
if you want to get back to New York and catch that plane, we'll have to go. Oh, but I don't want to go back to New York. I'm taking you back. You're no gentleman. Look, a doll like you shouldn't get mixed up with a guy like me. It's no good. Listen to me. Do you know why you came to Havana? I made a bet. That's how we met in the first place. I made a bet. How else would a girl get to meet a gambler? Come on. No, no. I have to think about what's best for you. You talk just like a missionary. Oh, my heart. 
Shepherd here. Oh, good morning, Brother Masterson. Good morning. Well, we tried your suggestion. We were out all night. We spoke to a lot of sinners. You can't... Im Where have you been, Sarah? Uh, I've been to Cuba. <laughs> You're even more tired than I am. <laughs> I've seen a lot of strange things in my time, but this is the first time I've seen a floating crap game going full blast in a mission! Crap game? Sarah, you know I have nothing to do with this, don't you? Well, this would never have happened if I hadn't... I should never have gone with you. It was wrong. No, you went to help the mission. Did I? Will I see you tomorrow? Everybody is welcome at the mission. That's not what I meant. Looks like it's no good. You said it yourself, it's no good. Why not? What the hell kind of doll are you anyway?
party, sir. Is he here? No, sir. Mr. Dottori has not been here all evening. Uh, Ryan Soda, please. Scott! Did you see Miss Adelaide? What? Well, I bring a message for her from Nathan. I wish Nathan would bring his own messages. Where is Nathan? What's the message? It's like this. Uh, Nathan's aunt in Pittsburgh was suddenly taken ill with, uh... A rare tropical disease? Yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> anyway, Nathan has... Where is Nathan? What's the message? The crap game is still going on. Since last night? Well, Big Julie, being a large loser, does not wish the game to terminate. In fact, he is most insistent. Uh, so we find another place, and the game goes on. Where is the game? Are you looking for some action? I'll meet you outside. <laughs> right, sir. What about Nathan's message? Oh, Miss Adelaide. Nathan's in Pittsburgh with a red chop at the land. Goodbye. What? <laughs> Wait a minute, Scott. Nathan has to come here tonight for a loafing to get married. Is it the craft game again? Adelaide, you know Nathan. Does that surprise you? But he promised to change. Change? Why is it that when you dolls find somebody you like, you take them right in for alterations? <laughs> well, what about you men? Why can't you get married like other people and live normal like people? Have a home with wallpaper and bookends? <laughs> no, Adelaide, no. What do you mean, no? Guys like Nathan Detroit and, yeah, Scott Masterson, we don't belong in a life like that. So when dolls like you get mixed up with guys like us, it's no good. No good at all. I'll see you around. Where are you going? I don't know. Vegas, maybe. I'll catch the late play. Are you going to see Nathan before you leave? Maybe. Well, if you do, you tell him I never want to talk to him again and have him call me here. <laughs> Just find yourself another guy. I can't. I love Nathan. Wait until you find somebody healthy. Yeah. Yeah.
wisdom when your hair is turned to gray. But more I cannot wish you than to wish you find your love, your own true love to stay. With a sheep sigh and a licorice tooth and the strong Of Victor Week. 
It is not that he's a sore loser, it's just that Big Julie merely prefers to win. Right, Big Julie? Give me the dice. I'm shooting 500. Take 200. I'm that dead. If you don't shut up, Big Julie will arrange the other hand. <laughs> one and a one, snake eyes, you right. lose, and $50 goes to the house. Hey, but the dice are still yours, and your luck is bound to shut up. Change. Another five. Two hundred more. And here comes that big lucky roll. <laughs> Snake eyes again. <laughs> All right, Big Julie. Well, that cleans me. All right, good. But I ain't through yet. I will now play on credit. What? I think my thing. The boys are pretty tired out. I mean, me personally, I'm fresh as a daisy. Then I will play with you. With me? Yeah, you. You've been raking down out of every pot you must have by now quite a bundle. Well, being that I assume the risk it is only fair, I should assume some of the dough. Detroit, I am going to roll you, really or nearly. If I lose, I will give you my marker. And if I lose, you will give him cash. Let me hear from Big Julie. You will give me cash. Now I heard it. Here is my marker. Put up your dough. Is anything wrong? Uh, no, no. I owe you $1,000, signed X. How is it you can write out $1,000, but you cannot write your signature? I was good in arithmetic, but I stuck in English. Here, this will put you through Harvard. I'm rolling a thousand, and to change my luck, I will use my own dice. Your own dice? I had them made for me, especially in Chicago. Uh, Big Julie, you cannot interpolate Chicago dice into a New York game. That is a breach of etiquette. What does it say that and Hoyle? Uh, now, I do not wish to seem petty, but may I have a look at these dice? <coughs> yeah, but these, these dice ain't got no spots on them. They're blank. I had the what? spots taken off for luck. But I remember where the spots formerly were. <laughs> You are going to roll blank dice and call them from remembering where the spots formerly was? Why not? I see no reason. A five and a five. My point is ten. Well, at least I still got a chance. Kenzie, Kenzie, come again, Z. I wish he'd fall down on his Enzi. A ten, I win. A ten? A six and a four. Which is the six and which is the four? Either way. <laughs> now I'm shooting poop down. Get it up. Uh, you know, I just remembered I'm eloping tonight. I gotta go meet Adelaide. Get up to two thousand. How about letting some of the other chaps in on a phone? No, okay. <laughs> After I'm through with you, two thousand. Seven, I win. What a surprise. Detroit, I think I will take it easy on you this time. What do you mean? I am shooting one dollar. I'll take all of it. How about that? Snake eyes, I lose. For this, I got to bend down. Now I will give you a chance. I will roll for you. Three thousand. Three G's? I am rolling you for three G's. Put it down there. Wouldn't it be easier if I just put it in your pocket? Get it up! Eleven, I win! That cleans me. Now I will play with you guys. No, 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 no. You now have got to give me a chance to get even, only we will use my dice. All right, Detroit, that's fair. Uh, what are you going to use for money? Well, I will give you my marker. And you want Big Julie to put a cash? Nathan's done it. Yeah, I've done it. What kind of deal is this anyway? Huh? Take it easy, Nathan. No, well, him with his no-spot dice. Somebody ought to knock the spots off of him. Nathan, don't make Big Julie have to do something to you. Yeah, I am on my vacation. Go ahead. Shoot me. Put me in cement. At least I would know where I am. Here I risked my neck to set up this crap game, even promised to get married on account of it, and look how I wind up. Broke in a sewer. Believe me, my tough friend from Chicago, there is nothing you could do that would not cheer me up. Well, here they are. Gentlemen, good evening. Thanks, guys. Well, fresh blood. Are you looking for some action? 
Not at the moment. I just want to talk to some of the guys. Yeah, we ain't talking. We're shooting crap. It'll only take a minute. We are shooting crap. It's about the Sarah's mission. Say, who is this guy? The fellow I was telling you took the mission down to a van. Oh, I get it. Hey, look, fella. Why don't you go back to your praying tomato? You're slowing up the action around here. If you're looking for some action, how about a small wager on a proposition? What's the proposition? Am I right-handed or left-handed? How would I know a thing like that? Let me give you a clue. Hey! Oh! <laughs> Kindly return this to Sears and Roebuck. All right, listen up, you guys. Tonight at the Sarah's Mission, 409 West 49th Street, we're having a midnight prayer meeting, and I promise to deliver some sinners. Now, when it comes to sitting, most of you guys are pretty high up at the paint cards. I ain't spending no evening in a hallelujah joint. If you won't do it as a favor to me, do it as a favor to yourselves. I guarantee you that the air in the mission is a lot cleaner than it is down here. And it wouldn't hurt you guys to learn something else other than the odds of making a four the hard way. You've been reading the Bible too much. So what? Maybe the Bible don't read as lively as a scratch sheet, but at least it's twice as accurate. No way. <laughs> well, Nathan, I tried. I'll see you around. Okay, Sky. No, well, listen, Sky, uh, about that Havana business, I regret I temporarily do not have the thousand dollars with which to pay you. You don't have to pay me. You won. But I thought you took Miss Sarah to Havana. You thought wrong. Get up, Big Julie. I have now got dough to roll you, and we are using my dice. Nothing doing. With those dice, he cannot make a pass to save his soul. What did you say? I says with them dice, he cannot make a pass to save his soul. Well, maybe I can make a pass to save his. And yours. And yours. I'm going to roll the dice. I'll bet each of you a thousand against your souls. <laughs> One thousand in cash against the marker for your souls. <laughs> if I win, you show up at the mission tonight. Okay? Let me get this. <clears throat> if you lose, we each get a thousand bucks. And if you win, we gotta show up at the Mission Dallas Cabaret? The Save the Soul Mission, one meeting tonight. Just okay, one. by me. Me too. You too. Yeah. A thousand against your soul. Me? I don't even know if I got one. Yeah, you got one somewhere. Okay, how do you spell soul? S-O-L. <laughs> All right, put down your markers. Right. You feel a bucky. You guys have seen me roll for a hundred G's, but I got a little bit more than dough riding on this one. They call you Lady Luck, but there is room for doubt. At times you have a very unladylike way of running out. You're on this date with me, the pickings have been and yet before this evening is over you might give me the brush you might forget your manners you might forget to stay and so the best that I can do is pray luck be a lady tonight luck be a lady tonight if you've ever been a lady to begin with, luck be a lady tonight. Luck, let a gentleman see how nice a dame you can be. I know the way you've treated other guys you've been with. Luck be a lady with me. A lady wouldn't be for escorts. It isn't fair. It isn't nice. A lady wouldn't wander off. And blow on some other guy's dies. So let's keep the party polite. Never get out of my sight. Stick with me, baby, on the fella you came in with. Luck be a lady. Luck be a lady. Luck be a lady tonight. Luck be a lady tonight. Luck be a lady tonight. Luck, if you've ever been a lady to begin with, luck be a lady tonight. Luck, when a gentleman sees, luck, when a gentleman sees, how nice a lady can be, how nice a lady can be, I know the luck way to be a lady, a lady, luck be a lady with me. A lady wouldn't flirt with strangers, she'd have a heart, she'd 
got a soul. A lady wouldn't fail, a little spray like me. But I've been my heart on this roll. So let's keep the party going. So let's keep the party polite. Never get out of my sight. Never get out of my sight. Stick with me, baby. Stick here, baby. Stick here, baby. Luck be a lady. Luck be a lady. Luck be a lady. Luck be a lady. Although you have now been married to my daughter for 12 years. But I feel like I know you from Adelaide's letters, and in my mind's eye, I can see you as you go down to work every morning at 7? Yeah. <laughs> what a responsibility it must be to be the assistant manager of an a and <laughs> I'm not even the manager. Oh, I was going to promote you for Christmas. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I know how hard you have to work to take care of your family, Adelaide and the five children and the one on the way. Oh, she wanted me to come visit. I had to tell her something. Don't your mother know that I cannot raise six kids on what they pay me at the A&P? <laughs> yada, 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 blah, 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 blah. I am very proud to have you as a son-in-law. You are a good man, and I know you will always take care of Adelaide. I feel like a heel. Come on, Nathan. We can still make everything all right. Look, it's not even midnight yet. Five minutes till twelve. We can walk right now. Okay, Adelaide. <gasps> <laughs> uh, no, I can't. Why not? Nathan, come on. We're going to be late. Come on. Nathan, why can't we walk right now? Well, because... I gotta go to a prayer meeting. <laughs> oh, Nathan, this is the biggest lie you ever told me. No, but I promise you, it's true. You promised me this, you promised me that, you promised me everything under the sun, and you give me a kiss, and you're grabbing your head, and you're off to the races again. When I think of the time, boy, boy. Adelaide, Adelaide. The way I try. Adelaide. I can honestly die. Call the lawyer and sue me. What can you do me? I love you. Give a holler and hate me. Hate me. Go ahead and hate me. The I best love you. years of my life I was a fool to give to all you. All right already. I'm just in a good day. All right already. It's true. So do. So sue me. Sue me. What can you do me?
Serve a paper and sue me, sue me. What can you do me? I love you. Give a holler and hate me, hate me. Go ahead, hate me. When you wind up in jail, don't come to me to fail you. Oh, right already. So call a policeman. All right already, it's true. So new, so sue me, sue me. What can you do me? I love you. You're at it again, you're running the game. I'm not gonna play that. against our souls. That's why we're here. 
I don't think I understand. I do, General. You mean the only reason why they are here is because Mr. Masterson won them in a dice game. Why else? <laughs> It just shows how good can come out of evil. Sergeant Sarah, you have done remarkable work. Uh, hasn't she, though? Well, thank you. Hey! I ain't finished my testimony. <laughs> my sins is that when Sky rolled us, I wished I'd win the thousand bucks instead of coming here. But now that I'm here, I still wish it! Yeah! yeah. We will now hear testimony from Brother Nicely Nicely Johnson. <laughs> Brother Nicely Nicely Johnson. Get up, you fat water buffalo! <laughs> well, it happened to me kind of funny, like a dream. That's it, a dream. Tell us, in your own words. I dreamed last night I got on the boat to heaven And by some chance I had brought my dice along And there I stood And I hollered someone paid me But the passengers they know right from Sarah, you were standing there when they came out, 
You saw them. Aren't these the fellows? I've never seen them before in my life. That's a right draw. Yeah. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, officer, we would like to go on with our meeting. Yeah. yeah. I've never seen crapshooters spend so much time in a mission. Maybe that's what they mean by holy rollers. <laughs> uh, people, I also have a confession to make and I must get it off my chest. We did shoot crap in here last night and for that we are sorry. Ain't we boys? Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, I'm really sorry. <laughs> but I, I did another terrible thing. I made a bet with a certain guy that he could not take a certain doll away with him on a trip. And this I should not have done. Although it didn't do any harm as I won the bet. You won the bet? Yeah, well, yeah, the guy told me he did not take the doll. You know, I feel much better. Hallelujah! 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 Gentlemen, we will now sing number 244. Follow the fold. <laughs> Yeah. 
here. Gambling at your prayer meeting? Was well, Nathan Detroit there? I'm sure I heard that name. Oh, he's a darling little fellow with budgie budgie teeth. Oh, I think so. How do you like that rat? Just when he should have been lying to me, he's telling the truth. <laughs> Boy, I'm glad I'm through with him. And you ought to be glad you're through with Sky, too. I am. What, are we crazy or something? At Wanamaker's and Saxon Klein, a lesson I've been taught. You can't get alterations on a dress you have bought. At any vegetable market, from 40 old to no, you must squeeze a melon so you get the melon pole. You simply gotta gamble, you get no guarantee. Now, doesn't that kind of apply to you and I? Very much. I know we're going to be happy. 